and boom we are going live can you guys see me hello everybody hello world can you guys hear me all right too me sorry i'm just like setting stuff up right now are we cool can you guys hear me can you guys see me are we having a fun time <laughs> I'm like so not tech savvy that just the idea of doing this, like wait until you guys see, oh, let me show you what I got, okay? And by got, I mean, I just figured it out because it's not even that big of a deal, but check this out. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Look at this. Boom. Wait. And here's my hand. Are we impressed or what? Look at this. Look at this. We got a little... Oh, there it is. <laughs> so we got we got the whole stream set up. I don't know why I wrote Seymour on YouTube. I think that was when I was trying to do um, this on Amazon live instead of on YouTube. So just ignore that part. I just needed like something over here. And I couldn't figure out what to do. So I just did that. <laughs> Thank you for being impressed with me. I'm so excited. So yeah, we're just gonna chill today, honestly. I don't have too much in mind for this stream. I have all my new polishes. I found out that they're actually all sold out, which is just beyond my comprehension, really. So yeah, oh my gosh, it's been a really long time since I've done a YouTube live. Wow, I feel like, oh, I forgot to turn off the heat. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Sorry, it gets super loud, so we're just mix them. No, that's gonna be we're gonna do that in a future video. So don't even don't even worry about that. You will see. Thank you so much, Shirley. That is very kind of you. I'm so excited. Did anybody get theirs yet? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like it's been so long since I've done one of these lives on YouTube and it's crazy because I've been doing so many lives on my other on Amazon for those of you guys who have joined me for that I know not as many people um, but yeah so let me just throw on some cuticle oil and then we can play around I was thinking we could try sponging on some of these um, we can try I don't know trying them over different colors trying different combos We'll see what's going on. Is it cold in New Jersey? Yeah, yeah. It's a very foggy day over here, I'll tell you. I actually have the window uh, open. I usually keep the blinds down when we're filming, but we, meaning me and myself, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I just felt like kind of being able to see out there, so I just kept it open today. Um, yeah, so I actually heard an update from Starly, and they posted on their Instagram story. They said, all of the shipments have already gone out. The problem is that UPS and USPS are like huge delays right now. So everything says that it's just sitting in Ohio waiting because that is where Starly is shipped from. Um, but it's actually within it's I mean, it's it, maybe it is in Ohio, but it's sent to USPS already. So, yeah, we'll we'll all get them soon. Hopefully everybody will get theirs before. Christmas and then we can you know play around even more but I figure for those of you guys who are getting them we can always play around um so yeah here my original thought this is gonna be so hard <laughs> to do because that the um this little screen right here which is my phone by the way it's running on such a delay like look at this <laughs> why is that cracking me up so much we're getting the same reports allowed, all the USPS delays. Yeah, honestly, I just think in general, like I ordered so much stuff on Black Friday and so much of it didn't even ship yet. Um, and I'm assuming it's probably just sitting at the post office, just waiting. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's just, it's just gonna be a whole thing. But yeah, so what do you guys wanna see today? I guess we could start off, I mean, we may as well start off crazy. I can just, can we, whoop, there it is. This is also mirrored, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be struggling. I shouldn't even look at that. I should just look at this. 
I love the three screen split. Thank you. One of these days I'm going to actually figure out how to connect my real camera so we can get it in like high def. But I mean, this, this looks pretty legit on here. I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed with how much you can see of that multi-chrome shift. This is Phobos, by the way. This was, I believe this was the first shade that actually sold out. Um, so that's pretty cool. Can you guys hear me all right, by the way? I know I usually wear headphones. I just realized that maybe you guys would prefer that. <laughs> um, and then here is Deimos. Boom. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. <laughs> And then these are the two shades that I used in my holiday nail art compilation. I just feel like they're very holiday appropriate. They weren't intended to be meant for the holidays, but I do think that they're pretty good for it. And then we got Fractal, which is my beautiful... Oh, I, I got cuticle oil on everything, my little baby. Let me see. I'll show you guys a comparison of Fractal and... Um, uh, Cosmic Voyage and Deep Space. So this this was the first black one with multi-chrome in it. This is Deep Space. And then this is Cosmic Voyage. So this one was like the second version of it. So this one's like blue and red. This one's like purpley. And then now we have a green version. Isn't that fun? Yay! So we're just honestly, we're just hanging out. I'm just standing here, sitting, not standing, gushing about my nail polishes. I love that you guys love them. I hope that you guys love them. Yeah, I think, yeah, shipping delays are just crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh yeah, the original collabs. I still, I love Intergalactic so much. I try. Where is it? Yeah, she is. She's very well used. <laughs> you guys can see how much I've used of it. Um, I love this shade. It's so pretty. You can actually see the hollow. Wow. This is impressive. My phone can pick up the hollow. <laughs> what does my hoodie say? Oh, this is an OPI hoodie. It says, ready for the holidays. Beauty by Maria, thank you so much for the super chat. That's very kind of you. I hope you are doing well. Yeah, so uh, OPI Ready for the Holidays. That was actually one of my favorites from the collection. Boom. So pretty, so red. And red E for the holidays. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm like so scattered today. Um, but you guys can blame my Patreon supporters who had me up all night playing Among Us, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it was so cute. And it has actually, I don't know if you guys can see it because it's really small, but it has a little OPI bottle on it. So people will know. <laughs> the letters match your hair perfectly. Oh yeah, I'm actually in the process of fading this color because I wanted to try something a little funky. So don't be alarmed that my hair looks super faded right now. But yeah, anyway. What are we doing? What do we want to do, guys? I feel like I really want to show you guys what these look like sponged so we can just mess around. I don't know where. I just put my... Oh, there they are. I was just going to say, I just put my sponges somewhere, but I have no idea um, where I put them. But they're over there on the floor, which is a great spot for sponges. Um, I'm just going to paint on some base coat and we'll get started with something. Um, obviously, as always, this is kind of just a hangout situation. If you have any- oh, nope, this isn't gonna work. This- this tripod's in the way. Can we- is this- this is good? This is fine. Eh, eh. Alright, that's fine. Um, yeah, as always, if you guys are asking me technical questions about something that I have discussed in a different video, please- oh, nope. <laughs> I did not test this out. Hold on, we gotta switch around my my situation here. Um, just using the Zoya Remove Plus. I will do that in a different spot so it doesn't shake the whole world. Damn, the camera quality, like, oof. Oh, bad or good oof? Tell me. Because I'm just on my computer 
and my iPhone. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know any video game characters that have that name. I just went off of the the term for Earth, Terra. I just thought that was a cool earthy polish because of the blue. Okay, we're gonna do blue, green. Earth is Earth's pretty green. Goof. <laughs> Is there supposed to be a D in there? Can you turn the camera chart back? Yeah, I just turned it, so we'll see if this works. Um, and don't mind this very messy piece of construction paper, which is what I am painting on. <laughs> I just knew we were going to be sponging on, so I didn't want to do anything too wild. Okay, just painting on some Orly Bonder base coat. Guys, I just opened up a new bottle last night. And I feel that there's there are few things better in this world than a new bottle of base coat or a new bottle of top coat. Like, is that not the best feeling ever? Oh, thank you so much. I was feeling feeling a little green today. Feeling a little terra. You're all high def looking at everything. How do you make your skin so flawless? Oh, I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> My skin is and not flawless. But I will tell you that I've been really trying to be better about my skincare. I've been doing a lot more skincare stuff, but I feel like my face looks so... I have a little mirror over here. I feel like I look so dry today. Oh, oh, I'm dry. <laughs> it's fine. Um, was, I have a question about base coat. I noticed you use a lot in your reviews. The Kuchu, I think, is that the best base coat. I mean, I have a lot of favorites. I think the majority of the ones that I use do the job great. The ones I use most often would be the Orly Bonder base coat, the Kuchio base coat, and the Cirque base coat. Uh, and I've never noticed with any of them that, you know, it doesn't work right. I don't know. I, I, I feel that they all make my manicure last a pretty long time. No, I really think, I think it's because I have a ring light here, and I think it just softens everything. Because when I look at it in real life, you can definitely see, like, some dryness to my face. And then I think on camera, which I can't see because it's only a tiny little picture of me, but I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this ring light's really softening me up. So don't be, don't be jealous. My skin is not fantastic. <laughs> Have you tried the Starly base coat? I kind of like it. Yeah, it's actually sitting right here. I don't know why I didn't use it. The Guardian base coat. Here she is, also well used. I do use this one a lot, not as often, only because it's still a great top coat. It just a uh, base coat. It just takes a little bit longer to dry than the other ones. Uh, and when I'm swatching, I'm trying to get my base coat dry as quickly as possible. So I don't really use this for swatches, but I do use it for life. And then I also actually have their antimatter top coat over here because this is another one of my go-to top coats. All great. You know, they actually make a ring light that you can put on your phone so you can just like walk around and be a model if you want. I don't know what we should sponge this over. Ooh, I also don't know where my tape is. I have liquid latex, but I feel like I'm, I'm not going to use it today just because it takes so long to dry. Um, hold on again. Sorry. Tape, tape, tape. Here it is. Oh, guys, you want to see something else cool that I figured out? I can actually do like a little BRB thing because when I inevitably have to go to the bathroom, check this out. Ready? And I'm back. How cool is that? <laughs> um, how do you manage to keep your nails squared without breaking off the edges like adapter? Oh, I just did last night. I broke this one off, you can see. <laughs> I was just, I literally just grabbed my phone too hard and the edge of this just cracked right off. It was awful. Sponge over black or navy blue. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I'll use the Starly Black, which is also on my desk. I swear my desk is usually a little bit more organized, but I just keep like all the last stuff that I used on there. Oh, the sponges. I'm sorry, I keep getting up. <laughs> all right. All right, that was the last time I'm getting up. I promise, we're we're good. Don't live on. Wait, 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 wait! I missed the question. Shirley. Something. Oh, have you done live on Instagram ever? I have done lives on Instagram. I don't do them as often because, uh, I feel like not a lot of my audience is on Inst like on my Instagram at least, because I I really hear from you guys a lot more on other socials. <laughs> Um, so I just figure it's not really the place for me. 
I hate when the corners chip. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. I'm using an iPhone 11. That's what I got. Um, just bought it this year for myself. Where are you living? I live in New Jersey. I'm a Jersey gal, born and raised. Ooh, this bottle is almost empty. It's fine. Are we going to do... Should I do... Why don't I sponge Phobos on two of the nails and then Deimos on two of the nails? That could be fun. Ooh. Oh, oh. It has been a while since I've done a live painting and you guys are going to be like, why are you missing the edges? Uh, it's really hard to like paint with the phone in the way. I'm going to be honest. This is the only social media I'm allowed to have. Yeah, I think Instagram, uh, YouTube is the best one anyway. I think Instagram's a little overrated, if I'm being honest, but I do post on there. Um, and I do post stories on there, too, if you guys want to check those out. It's usually just, like, what I got, and then, I don't know, just, like, boring life stuff. Okay. This is a good one coat, one coat black right here. Starly, what is this one called? Vanja Black, obviously. Sorry, I don't know why I forgot that. Okay. Boom. Sorry that I'm being quiet now. I really need to, like, figure out... Oh, got it on the cuticle. It's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. <laughs> You got me so crazy for Starly now. I have three orders coming. Honestly, they are for sure my favorite indie brand. Probably my favorite brand, period. I just think their stuff is such good quality. And you get so much for your money, you know? Um, I do have a discount code with them. It's not an affiliate code, but it's still pretty awesome. I think that we get to get a discount. Where's my acetone? Where is my acetone? Oh, here it is. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, you can use the code, I think it's Kelly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at how much glitter is in my little, this is like my little shot glass that I keep my acetone in. Look at all the glitter that's in there. I'm gonna have to, I don't want to get that all over my skin. So let me just clean this out really quick. Just wanted to tell you that I used your glitter polish remover hack and it worked like a charm oh yay i'm so glad that worked for you yeah that's what i do honestly for most of my um nail polish remover especially like if i'm doing like if i have red or black on my nails the way i'll remove it i'll show you guys after we're done playing with this because i i do it the same way every time i need more acetone you guys have to do among us on a day other than friday well i'm sure i'll be back but you guys better not let me skip out on doing my swatches <laughs> but I'll play again I'll play again soon I was very bad at it um so you know I'll get better though you make me nuts for all the swatches I have at least 200 polishes wow that's awesome it's it's a fun hobby I feel like even just the collecting of it is fun oh I'm getting this all over Ugh. hold on let me just do this off camera <laughs> well I'll still be out on camera but just not close up Sometimes it's easier. This is, if I'm not filming, this is how I normally clean up. I hold it right next to my face. So if you guys watch me on my Amazon lives, you'll see that sometimes I'm just like, wait, let me do this off camera. This is what I'm doing. I'm just holding it super close to my face and cleaning up. Boom. So anyway, how's everybody's weekend? How's everybody's December? Don't sniff the acetone. Oh, I don't smell it. <laughs> I don't sniff it. This is a well-ventilated room. Um, and then the other thing that I do that's probably awful is I just lick my finger and wipe off the dryness. <laughs> you missed one of the most important steps for getting ready for a manicure. I guarantee I'm going to have to go to the bathroom during this stream. I really, I truly always have to go. <laughs> Where's that cleanup brush from? I think this is from What's Up Nails. Yeah, it says... It's What's up, nails? Little mermaid. I got this years ago. I just figured, I, I was just using, I just opened up a new e.l.f. concealer brush, but for some reason, this one was so thick. 
So I was like, let me just grab something else so I don't feel as guilty about throwing that out immediately. <laughs> 65 polishes, that's a pretty big collection. We got Kelly to play Among Us with last night. <laughs> yeah, we were playing, it was a fun time. Okay, I'm just gonna tape this, so we'll, I'll show you after, hold on. So, liquid latex is fantastic, don't get me wrong, it's just sometimes such a pain in the butt to wait for it to dry. So, I will do this a lot of times, where I'll just tape my hand so that the tape is covering up my skin. You see that? Uh, I'm gonna do a couple more little, little tiny pieces, just so that... I cover up all my skin. It's gonna be fine. Maybe we should do this as a glitter gradient so that I get less in my in my skin. Wow, you guys all have such huge collections. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you get nail polish off without wrecking your nails? I'll show you when I'm taking this black manicure off, I will show you guys how I do it. I do have a video on it. Actually, I think I have two videos about it. Um, so I'm gonna start with Phobos. We'll see what the sitch is. Nothing wrong with a small collection. Oh, absolutely nothing wrong with a small collection. In fact, it's probably better to have a small collection, if I'm being totally honest, because for me, I, I really can't get through all of my nail polishes. So this is my baby, Phobos. Oh, look at how pretty it is. Look at this shifting, guys. Oh, do you see that? How am I still so shook at my own nail polish? <laughs> this is wild. How can I watch on Amazon? I post the links on um, my community tab, so you can find it on there every week I post. Or if you, I have the link. I actually think the link is in this video. If you scroll down to like my Amazon must-haves, I think is what it's called. Ooh, you can tell that this polish wasn't totally dry because a little bit of black got onto the sponge, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, if you click on that, you can just follow me from my storefront, and then you'll get notified when I go live. Look at this! And then you basically have yourself- well, I, I missed a few spots, hold on. But you basically have yourself a multi-chrome polish, so it's like a two-in-one. I'm gonna die, it's such a beautiful polish. I agree, I really- like, I know I'm biased- oop, that was way too much. That was way too much, sorry, sorry. Boop, 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 it's fine. It's gonna be- Fine. Beep, beep, beep. Sometimes the sound effects also help. Okay, there you go. There you have it. You can see what a difference it has made from... I, I know I missed a little bit in the corners, but I think it's just because the tape is a little bit too much right now. So let me take off some of this tape, and then we'll finish it off. Ooh. The hard part is, I will say, peeling off the tape without ruining the manicure always makes it difficult. Can you sponge on one nail and paint the other so we can compare? Oh yeah, that's actually a smart idea. Thank you, Morgan. I will do that. Um, also, <laughs> after your hand has been constricted by tape, it always looks like this. Um, so I did miss a few spots on the top. I'm just gonna boop, boop, pop that on there. Just get a quick little extra extra bit. So you can see this is what it looks like sponged on. Oh, this is truly wild. I just... Uh, I can't believe this is my polish, guys. <laughs> Literally crazy. Uh, and then here is what it looks like. So, um, originally we were thinking about making this a regular polish instead of a topper, but I was just so in love with the idea of having a topper that you could also sponge on to make a full coverage polish. So that's kind of where this was born from, and then as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, this was the right decision. And it's also got, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's got the hollow in there too. So here we have, oh, hold on, let me close it. So here we have the three stages. So here is black polish by itself, here is Phobos painted on, and then here it is sponged on. So you can see it, well, I mean, this one obviously doesn't have any Phobos on it, but it's a very versatile polish. I think you could also, I could show you guys a little bit of um, a gradient situation if you guys want. What's the time there right now? It is 2.24 p.m. right now where I live. 
in Dirty Jersey. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I do call it Dirty Jersey, but uh, I love it here. I love New Jersey. Use Band-Aid rather than tape. I have a very low supply of Band-Aids and I'm always hurting myself, so I really... <laughs> I don't use them for anything other than first aid, if I'm being totally honest. How long do you wait before putting on the second layer of polish or sponging? I mean, honestly, it depends on the situation. Like, today is a cold day, I don't have the heat on, so... That... this is constricting my finger a little bit too much, so let me take this off. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so not too long, because it's cold in this room and the air circulating around is making it dry quicker. But, in general... Honestly, it's hard to give a number. Like three to five minutes, maybe, for me. But again, it also just depends on where you live. Also from Jersey. Oh my gosh, I have so many Jersey people. Guys, does anybody else call it Dirty Jersey or is it just me? I don't genuinely think it's dirty. I just mean like, I don't know how to even describe it. I just think Dirty Jersey sounds cool. <laughs> I actually love New Jersey and I hate the bad rep that it gets. Like, people are jealous of our state because it's beautiful and it's perfect, okay? So, how many bottles you got? We've been collecting for about a year, mostly Zoya, but discovered the glitzy wonder of ILNP and just saying you need to get on it. I have a full drawer of ILNP, actually. Yeah, I've been reviewing them a lot lately. I'm gonna just use the same sponge. I'm gonna just use this side. It's pretty clean. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so this is Deimos. This is a more subtle multi-chrome, so you can still see a lot of the the shift, but it's mostly blue into purple. So you can see like sometimes it's like turquoise, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's purple. We're just gonna do a little, um, is it expensive? Oh, it's expensive to live in New Jersey. Yes, it is. I agree with that. It is expensive to live here. Should I just do a gradient? That's what I was thinking of doing. Just a little, little fun, glittery gradient. Well, that looks like trash. Hold on. <laughs> Pretty, but not as drastic as Bobo's. Yeah, I agree. It's a lot more subtle. But um, originally, I was just going to release one of them, but I loved them together so much that it actually, like, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't fathom the thought of only choosing one. <laughs> They're both just so beautiful. All right, I'm doing a terrible job with this <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks like actual trash. This looks like a smiley face. Look, here's an eye, and here's an eye, and then here's the smile. You know what? We're just gonna skip skip the... I think it's because I really... I would normally do like this part of it, the sponge. I'm acting like a fool. I'm just gonna show you guys my full nail covered. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've always had like an interest in living on the West Coast, to be totally honest. Um, and I visited there and I thought it was really incredible, but I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, gun shy, I guess now because I'm, I, I lived in Georgia for a few years and I, I didn't love it there and it made me feel a little scared of leaving my comfort zone, which is New Jersey. Like just the idea that other states just don't have good pizza and stuff. Like, I can't... <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yay, Kelly makes mistakes. Oof, yeah. You stick around. We'll be making a lot of mistakes today. <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> okay. I've never done a gradient successfully. You know what? I feel like they always seem like they're bad until you put on the top coat. Ooh, I really made a, a whole mess. I don't know how I made such a mess. Let me just... St. Jersey. Hi! I bought 12 bottles of ILMP on Black Friday. Oh my gosh, which ones did you get? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna paint on a quick final coat of this just to get any spots that I missed because, you know, I will say I, I normally wouldn't need to paint on a coat of it, but because I'm looking at it on the phone, it's like harder for me to do my nails. It's always easier to do your nails when you don't have a camera in the way. So anything that you see me do that you're like, oof, that doesn't look easy, I promise you it's easier. It's just, it's hard for me sometimes with the camera. <laughs> Kelly, you need a P.O. box so we can send you an It's Fine shirt to wear during streams. 
I really do want a P.O. box, but I don't know why. They're so expensive here. Like, ridiculously expensive. Okay. We're cleaning up. We're cleaning up. And we're taking it away from the camera again really quick. This is hard to clean up on camera, too. I went to New Jersey last year. Oh, what did you think of it? Wait, did anybody tell me how their December is doing? How's everybody's December? <laughs> I feel like we totally glossed over that question. Ooh, that's some dry skin. I'm just gonna do my little trick. Don't judge me. I'm just licking it real quick and then I'm just going to wipe my hand. I'm just home. I'm home all day. I'm not gonna be exposing any of these hand germs to anybody, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair is always so colorful and pretty. How often do you change it? What do you use? I use Overtone most often. Um, it's just a color conditioner, and I have it in a ton of different colors. So, um, whenever, like right now, I'm fading it so that I can do another color, which I'm not going to tell you yet. Actually, I should tell my patrons. <laughs> and then you guys will be like, no, don't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay, um, so here we have, this hand is such, this, I don't know why, but when I'm live, for some reason, I just can't do my ring finger, which, by the way, fun fact, does this guy look familiar? This is the finger that I film on, but for some reason, I don't know why, but every time I do a live stream where I'm doing my hand, this finger, which is my standard finger for filming, I always mess up, so I don't even understand it snowed today. Amanda, where do you live that it snowed? Oh, it's not snowing here. It's so boring. My boyfriend is still sick from COVID, but he's starting to get better finally. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Hopefully recovery is swift. Um, you should get a cleanup brush instead of a Q-tip. Oh, I have a, I have a brush right here. Uh, I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to get the little multi-chrome flakes in it, but I guess I could clean it up better. If that is preferred. Um, yeah. Oop, I think that's fine. But yeah, so um, just to reiterate real quick. Um, <laughs> so these two are Phobos. This is sponged on. This is painted on. And then these two are Deimos. This one is sponged on. And this one is painted on. What do you guys think of them? Oh, this looks so cute. I mean, I would never wear it like this, <laughs> but I love this. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. You might get snow sometimes in Wednesday or Friday time frame. Oh, geez. Okay, well, I'll, I'll stay alert. Okay, let me show you guys my nifty trick. Got my remover. <laughs> remover. Snowing Colorado. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, for glitters, I usually try to go in with a Q-tip first. Um, just because, like I said, I keep this little shot glass of acetone and um, I just don't want to get glitters in it because then I'd have to dump it out. Uh, if you saw in the beginning of the video, I had to dump it out because I had glitters in it. <laughs> okay, so I just unrolled... It always gets in my mouth. Uh, I just unrolled the cotton ball. I don't know why I didn't show you guys that part of the process. It's just so natural to me. So like when you have a cotton ball, you can see there's always like a little part that's like sticking up and then if you just start to pull at it it'll start to unravel so this is something that actually blew my mind the first time i realized the cotton balls are actually just rolled up and they look like this i was like what um but yes yeah, so then i'll take this i'll rip it into five pieces but right now i'm just gonna rip it into one two three four pieces oh actually this fourth one's kind of cute so i'll just make a fifth one anyway then I have my little stack, and then if you have the kind of remover that you have to like do that to, I just do that. But this is a pump top, so I'm just gonna pump it until it's saturated, and then I peel off each layer. Why do you use cotton balls and not cotton pads? I don't know. I have cotton pads, but I really only use them for my face. Uh, and then I just peel off each layer, and I wrap it around my finger. And then I just let it sit like that for a little bit until... Um, until it comes off. I don't know. <laughs> this is helpful to anybody. 
time for bed after a long working day. Love you, Kelly. Love you too. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you were able to, uh, to hang out for a little bit. Yeah, I don't like cotton pads because I feel like they absorb too much of the, um, nail polish remover. And then it doesn't, like, work as well. But that's just my personal preference. It's different for everybody I know. <laughs> glad you're back. <laughs> yeah, and then I just, I pull it. And then most of it comes off, so I'll show you guys. This one's probably going to be a little bit worse because I had more, but I just pull it off. Oh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> but I usually, after this, I'll just, so like I'll pull them, uh, and then it looks like this, which I know is gross. Um, and then I will take another cotton ball, a full one, and then I'll just do like the regular cotton ball thing where I'll just like go in and, and kind of scrub any excess. So that's how I do it without messing up my cuticles. Um, now, because I did use a black polish, it's probably going to be a little bit darker anyway. Like you can see, even though these two nails are clean, they're a little bit darker. I mean, that's just life. But you can wash your hands and it'll mostly come off. Man, I really got so much glitter underneath this nail. Look at this. Oof. Oof. Do the same with cotton pad, but use nail clips to keep the acetone warmer. That's smart. Um, I usually just hold my hand like this. I don't know if you guys even saw when I was just doing that, but that's like my go-to. That I just hold it onto my hand to keep it wet. Uh, and then that's kind of it. It's a whole... Man, this nail is a little stained. Well, it's not stained. I mean, I don't know if you guys can even see it, but... Ow! <sighs> Ooh. You know when you find out... Ooh. That you got a paper cut <laughs> because <laughs> oh sorry um sometimes when i'm using nail polish remover i realize that i have a cut on my hand and it hurts so bad uh, and i would normally just run to the bathroom and wash it really quick but you know we gotta work through it we're gonna work through it it's fine uh i'm gonna cuticle again cuticle <laughs> just using the cuchillo have you ever had longer nails? Yeah, if you watch my old videos, you'll see my nails used to be long. But, um, it just didn't work for my lifestyle. I wear contact lenses, so, uh, pulling them out was just really uncomfortable when... Wait, did we... Did somebody else just ask me, or did I just get deja vu? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I used to keep them longer. It's not comfortable for me. I feel like I'm always cutting myself with my long nails, and I feel like I'm always poking myself in the eye when I'm taking out my contact lenses. So yeah, I prefer to keep them short. Uh, I understand there are people on the internet who prefer to watch longer nail channels, but there are longer nail channels, so I'm kind of the, the shorter nail channel. Cha channel. <laughs> Uh, I ordered the Eclipse Topper by Starly. Can't wait for it to come. Do you use it? Eclipse? I don't know that I remember which one that is. Um, oh my gosh, contacts when I had acrylics were seriously the worst. Yeah, that's, even when just like my thumbs, I, I always keep my thumbs super short and I actually keep them round uh, because that's, and I know you're not supposed to use your nail, but that's just the way that I learned it. I just pop it off with my thumb and then I peel it out of my eyeball. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I I don't have any cupcake polishes. Um No, not 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 for any reason. I just don't have them. I hate long nails. I always stab myself with them too and bleed. Yeah, I feel like I always noticed that I had like a lot of like random like cuts on my arms and like any part of me like I noticed sometimes I would like scratch my back like this and then people would be like you have a whole cut on your back like do you have a cat and I'm like no I just I have nails <laughs> so I just I hated it <laughs> so yeah um you just pinch yours yeah I know most people do it like this I do it like this it's kind of gross actually but I feel like it's always interesting to learn how other people take out their contacts what else should we do with our nails? Um, now that I'm all cuticle oiled up. <laughs> what do you do if the line of your nail bed is crooked? I just let it let it chill. I don't think mine are particularly nice. Um, excuse me. This hand is worse. Like, look at this one. I don't know. Sometimes you can kind of just, like, push it and, it and it'll even out a little bit. But, I mean, you don't, you don't really have to do anything to it. 
I don't know. Here, I'm, I'm going to try to just push them with my other nail. See if I can even them out. And now they're even. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I was the one asking you about my splitting nails, if you remember, but I did a test as you recommended, but I'm not allergic. I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, I'm actually not sure. Um, I don't have any professional training in nail polish, so I, I wouldn't be able to help you in terms of of knowing how how to assuage that situation. Do you cut your cuticles? No, I do not. Um, I just push them back like that. I'm just cleaning the cuticle area right now with acetone <laughs> just because I feel like it looks so dark. I mean, I guess it doesn't really look dark on camera, but I don't love it. Have they restocked? Are we talking about my polishes? They have not restocked yet, but they will soon. I will keep you guys posted. Kirsten, thanks for hanging out. Glad to have you here. Um, your nails look great. Thank you. How long have you been painting your nails for? Well, I, I've been doing these videos for a while, but um, I've been painting my nails. I used to only paint my nails black. Ooh, what am I doing? trying to rip off this piece I'm just gonna cut it it's fine um, I used to only paint my nails black because I thought that was super cool and gothy and then I started getting into nail polish colors but when I used to paint my nails black that was probably when I was like 18 but before that I didn't really paint my nails sparkly pink I don't have any sparkly pinks in the collection <laughs> What kind of hand cream do you use? Honestly, any of them. I just have a bunch of them. I mean, they're all over there, but just like Bath and Body Works or like, um, I have the Lush Lemony Flutter cuticle butter. Uh, I use a lot of cuticle oils. I got an oil here. I got, look at this. This is just what's on my desk right now. I got this cuticle oil, which is open. Yikes. I got this cuticle oil. I got this cuticle oil. Cuticle oil. <laughs> I've got four of them on my desk right now as we speak. Um, but you can see they're all of various levels of, of cuticle. Oh, when will the Moyu London plate be restocked? It's going to be restocked in January. So um, that one's going to be coming back soon. I will keep you guys updated for sure on that. We can actually play with it. Well, no, all my stamping stuff is so far away. <laughs> It would take so much time and effort to just go get it. <laughs> How come you don't make your own cuticle pens? Uh, I was actually just talking about this on my Patreon Facebook group yesterday, but I don't like the pens as much. Um, for me, I just feel like it's kind of a waste. I know that you can technically refill them, but it doesn't always work and sometimes they break. Um, so for me personally, I like to use the bigger containers of them. Um, because there's just a lot more product in there. Like if you think about the amount of product that's in like a cuticle oil pen, it's like like this much. <laughs> so for me, I just think it's a better deal. But I do love keeping them like in my purse, especially not right now personally because I'm not going anywhere. I'm still working from home. But um, I do love having them on the go. I just I haven't been using them as much right now just because I'm home all the time. So dip the pens in the bottles. Oh, that's actually smart, Morgan. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Has there ever been a multi-chrome topper before? I've never seen anything like Flowless and Demos. They're so beautiful. I love your idea of sponging on a small amount to make a nebula for a galaxy. Oh, thank you. I don't think we're the first to do it, but um, I feel like it hasn't really been... I'm sure there are smaller indies who, are, who have done it. I haven't seen any personally. Um, but it was just something that I was thinking about because originally we were playing around with the idea of doing a multi-chrome topper, uh, not a multi-chrome, an iridescent topper, and then I was like, we should do multi-chrome. Uh, and then they came up with these bad boys. They actually also have hollow in them, which I don't know if you can tell. You can see some of that hollow, right? Ooh, very fancy. <laughs> Does Ryan work from home too? Yeah, Ryan's currently also working from home. You didn't answer my question. Lissa, ask it again. You know I missed it. <laughs> oh, your hair always looks so cool. How do you decide what color to do? And what is your favorite hair color that you have done? 
personally I like the pinky red the best um, but even now I'm, I'm like ready to try something weird <laughs> how did you find out about Starly because man they're just beautiful polishes all around I don't know I feel like with a lot of brands I just like randomly come across them on like Instagram or on a Facebook group and then I'm like oh that's a brand I should really like uh, should we do has anyone seen a plum crazy polish doesn't sound familiar to me what brand is it Terra and infrared gradient. Oh my gosh, you guys in the gradients today, you're trying to destroy my cuticles. Uh, let's, I'm just putting on base coat so we can figure out something else to do. I was thinking galaxy nails, but you guys let me know. We can do whatever. We're just hanging out. We're here to have a good time. Do you think you will launch your own brand? Um, it's not, it's not in my plan currently. Um, it's hard because, you know, everything with Starly's branding is what I would want my brand to be. So, uh, you know, I always joke, like, my dream brand already exists, and it's Starly. <laughs> like, their packaging, and their, like, spacey themes, and, like, the colors that they create and stuff are just already, they're already there. <laughs> so, there's not that much for me to make because then I, I would have to kind of go outside of my own branding slash preferences galaxy nails all right I think you guys are on board with the galaxies <laughs> all right I'm gonna use this Morgan Taylor black we'll see how that works right now just to switch things up I think this is another one coat black so this wasn't a part of my favorite black nail polishes because I didn't own it at the time, but I will show you guys how good it is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know why I'm like, I'm like getting a little shy about going near the cuticle a little bit. It's like making me nervous because when I'm live, it's like so much easier to mess up. So I'm being like way more cautious than usual. Oh, did Lissa say anything else? Cause I missed it again, I think. <laughs> I don't know what the question was. I think my chats are also on a delay, to be honest. Maybe a dark Christmas type thing. I think we'll do galaxies first. Then we can mess around with some holiday stuff, too. Sorry that I'm being so quiet. Oof. See, why do I always mess up that nail? Like, why is it that? What's the question? Nico or Lottie with Regina? Oh my gosh. You're really trying to make me remember specific Zoya polishes that are just named after people? Huh. Oh gosh. Um, um, Nico, which color is that? Oh, I remember Regina. That's the green one, right? Lottie is... oh. <laughs> oh, well, I don't remember the colors. <laughs> you guys are so mean to me. <laughs> it's been fun. Thanks for chatting. We look forward to your next live. Well, thanks for hanging out. What black are you using? Oh, this is Morgan Taylor Black Shadow. I, I was using the Starly Black before, but uh, that one's almost out. I need to buy a new one. <laughs> so... But I'll use my code. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to clean up real quick. How many swatches do you film in a week? Well, it depends on how many polishes I have to swatch. Uh, that's not... It's, it's not a set amount per week. I love Merida. Me too. That's such a pretty color. Okay. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. I'm sorry guys, the chat is moving kind of fast and I think mine's also running on a little bit of a delay, so like, a lot of things will pop up at once for me. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh! Oops. It's fine. Look what I just done to my skin. Oh! <gasps> I smudged it, it's fine. <laughs> 
This is fine, guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. I really need a nail polish called It's Fine. But it's fine. Clean up brush is super sweet. Yeah, I like it. I don't know if they still sell it. I haven't, I'm gonna, eh, just quick, quick little lick there. <laughs> Does anybody remember that video of Kim Kardashian when she... <laughs> When she was like swatching, I don't remember what palette it was. It must have been her palette, but she was like, <laughs> and I remember watching it and being like, "Oh my gosh, I secretly lick my nails <laughs> to get rid of the acetone." <laughs> Did you ever wear fake nails? Yeah, sometimes I wear press-on nails just if I want to change it up. What are we doing? Oh, galaxies, galaxies. Okay. Oh, fun fact. Here's my little uh, piece of paper of what my my. Uh, holiday designs. This is how I do it. I always plan it out on paper first. And then once I do the designs, I toss it. <laughs> so. That feeling when you hit your wet polish onto something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here is my piece of scrap paper. My little K scrap paper with little confetti dots on it. So I guess what we'll do I don't know what color to do. You know, we'll just do a whole little blend. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Um, hollow or multi-chrome? We're gonna use both. We're gonna get into. We're gonna get a little. We're gonna get a little fun in here. Maybe I use um, deep space. I don't know. Um, I was, I'm hoping to try some of your holiday designs next week. Oh my gosh, well, if you post them anywhere, tag me because I want to see. We'll just play around. We'll just have fun. Um, so I'll start with this and then I'll, I'll do an uh, alternate universe over it. So we'll just do like a little, oh, I just put some out onto the paper. Uh, and then I usually use the small part of the sponge, but I just cut it off because I didn't want to use a new one. So I guess we'll just... We're just gonna, well, you know what, whatever. It's fine, guys, it's fine. This is just like my background, is really what it is. Just a little background noise for fun. Nothing crazy, little, little nebulous backgrounds just to keep things interesting. That's a little blotchy, but it's fine. The thing with galaxy nail art is it always looks bad until you put top coat on it. So, and I can't tell you how many people in my life would be like, oh, I started doing galaxy nails, but it was terrible, so I took it off. And I'm like, no, you wait until the top coat is on, and that's how you know if you did a good job. Otherwise, there's literally no point. That's, that's like, it's the same with gradients, I feel like. They don't look good until you're done. By the way, um, any of these especially Cosmic Voyage, if you sponge this on fully, it also looks like a multi-chrome nail polish, which is really awesome. Um, okay, I think I'm going to take white polish. Uh, I'll just Alpine Snow it. I feel like I need a... It's fine, though, actually. Whatever, it's fine. I'm watching somebody else paint her nails on a Saturday evening. <laughs> Listen, this is peak social life right here. <laughs> We're all just hanging out. Okay. I think Kelly's favorite brand is OPI. That certainly is my go-to. You guys know my little tower is full of, of OPI. Um, so I think I'm going to sponge on a little bit of white first and then put alternate universe on just so that it, it looks lighter in some portions. So basically just taking like the, the teeniest little edge and just kind of making a little little cloudy, not cloud, star cluster. You see how it's starting to look like a little cluster of stars? My favorite nail? This one. But it's not, it's not my favorite in lives because I always mess it up. The pressure is too much. I like the eye sponge applicator to sponge. They are small. That's actually a really smart idea. I have never done it with that, but I really should try it because a lot of people tell me that that's how they do it. 
Oh, this is getting a little out of hand over here, but it's fine. Actually, not terrible. I don't mind this. Oh, look what I've done. Oh, I'm such a fool. I really am. Ugh. Ugh. Am I the only one who calls myself a fool? Does anybody else <laughs> refer to themselves as a fool, or is it just me? Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This is fine. This is fine. I wanted this. This was on purpose. Ooh. This is fine. Ooh. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Teresa, it's fine. <laughs> Kelly doing nail art live. Yes, I'm so here for this. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. You know what this actually reminds me of? Um, I did I, I did that video. It was like, honestly, over a year ago. I did a video of like, uh, reading your assumptions about me that people sent in uh, while painting my nails, galaxies. <laughs> um, so here's my the start of my galaxies. But yeah, and I did I did galaxy nail art then, and it was super fun. I want to do another one of those videos, but I don't know if people would even be interested. Okay, now let's take alternate universe and let's let's spruce this bad boy up a little bit, huh? Um, three of your new colors arrived yesterday. Oh yay! What do you think of them? Oh, I'm so nervous to hear like when people start getting them. Okay, I need a new sponge. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just hard to not use this little part. You know what I mean? Like this, this edge is so much easier. And you know what I actually really usually do is I'll rip up this part into little pieces for my galaxy nail art. Like I'll just rip off, oh, like little pieces like this. And then that's, that's what I use for galaxy nails. I don't know why I was using that giant sponge. What's your favorite brand besides Starlene OPI? Well, I really love China Glaze. I think they're a mainstream brand that has a very indie-like style. Uh, so I definitely enjoy them a lot, and I use them very often. I think they have a great color range. I used to always say China Glaze would be my favorite brand if they just had a wide flat brush, but now they do have a wide flat brush, which I love. Um, but I don't know if I would call them my favorite. It's hard to say. I always prefer the fat side. Yeah, I feel like that's, it's like, I don't know, people just, you, it's whatever you have success with, and then it's like, that's the one that you always want to use. <laughs> and for me, it's the thin side. Okay, getting a little purpley. Um, Tanessa, I have not tried either of those. They don't, uh, I'm not sure what that second brand is. Happy you're doing more nail art. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm always doing nail art, but the thing is people don't really like it as much. And when I do nail art videos, people are like, when's the next swatch video? So I don't I don't really post the videos that often, to be totally honest. Um, but, you know, if more people showed an interest in nail art, I would certainly do more nail art videos. <laughs> it's just they're very time consuming, so it's hard to justify if, if people aren't really into it. <laughs> Okay, we're looking pretty nebulous, I think. Oh, Gel Vinylux. Is that the CND one? I've used that before, I don't really like the brand. Oops. It's fine. Okay. So what I'm doing, I mean, I don't think there's really a method to this madness. Ooh, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, do it after this manicure. Okay, oh, this one's just that's just purple now. It's fine. What do you think is the main difference between infrared and norepinephrine? I'll show you guys them next to each other. Because I'm not 100% sure how they differ, but we'll check it out. Um, let me, let me find it. Norepinephrine. Is this it? Nope, that's Mars. Nope, that's not it. Oh, very different. Okay. Norepinephrine is a, a linear hollow. Uh, so you can see the hollow is in lines. Uh, it's harder to show. I'll show you guys on paper. So norepinephrine is a linear hollow polish. So when it shines 
and you see the holographic shine, it should be, well, it's, it's hard to show on paper, but you can see it's like, it creates these kind of lines of hollow, whereas infrared, well, first of all, infrared has gold shimmer in it, so there's, it's a lighter color, it's more pinky, and then it also has the shimmer in it, so here, without the flash, you can see, and also mine has little flakes in it, so they're pretty different. What are your other hobbies than painting your nails? Um, well, I read a lot. I like bullet journaling. I like writing. I'm trying to get into, like, uh, drawing and painting, like, not nails, just like regular. Um, so I'm trying to get into that a little bit. I guess we can sponge on some Phobos, right? And then, oh, my hair looks crazy like this. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, what else do I like to do? I don't know. I haven't really given myself much time for hobbies this year, to be honest. I've kind of just, I mean, other than this one. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you enjoyed them, Jada. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anyone else have an opinion on the Starly formula in comparison to other polishes like Enchanted or Hollow Taco? I'm really bad at using thicker polishes. Uh, I would say out of those three, Hollow Taco is by far the thickest. Um, Starly is slightly thick, but I would still say very easy to apply. Um, and then Enchanted Polish is the the smoothest, like it, it's the lightest in terms of thickness. Um, but I mean, all of them are workable, so it's really just up to your personal preference. They're all pretty different formulas, I would say. Starly's like thick enough that it's one coat opacity, but it's it's still self-leveling. Um, and then Enchanted Polish is just so buttery. I always say that. <laughs> They're just super buttery. Favorite matte top coat. This bad boy right here. OPI. Oh, sorry. Can you guys hear when my... I should have turned off my mailbox. <laughs> You should be live on YouTube more often. I love being able to ask you questions and stuff. I'm probably going to do another one this month, honestly, because I feel like it's been so long since I've done them. I don't know why my voice just got so loud. Um, but yeah, I just, I really, I'd like to do, oh, this is so fun. I'm like trying not to sponge on too much of it because I don't want it to, to turn into a, just a multi-chrome. But this is fun. Oh! <gasps> Why do I keep on dipping my finger into my polish? I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Dear Kelly, please stop doing this. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, how long would Starly with the current design and all now last on you? I don't know, maybe a week? Um, I don't really wear polishes for more than a couple of days, to be honest. Um, is that your favorite length for your nails? You're a beautiful young lady. Thank you so much, Rhonda. That was very kind of you. Um, yeah, I would say this is probably my favorite length. Um, I, I've been letting them get a little bit longer. I just, um, filed them down last night, though, and this is probably, like, my, my usual. So, I'm gonna take a dotting tool. This is from Nail Stuff. Check this out. You can get, like your nail tools engraved. Uh, so I just got my my nail. I prefer YouTube streams over Amazon. Yeah, I think it's just about finding a balance. Um, I really like the Amazon- oh, why did I do that? I really like the Amazon streams because they're- like, the products are right there. Whereas this, especially live, like, it's hard to kind of plan out in advance what I'm going to be using. Um, so, I don't know. It, I mean, I like both of them. I'm probably going to continue doing both. Okay, favorite nail polish ever. Whew, don't make me pick just one. This is just a really small dotting tool. And I'm just going to make a few dots. They're going to be small, but they're probably going to be bigger in the center, like where the little star clusters are. 
That's where my dots are gonna be. You see that? Oop, that one wasn't great, but it's fine. Uh, do you round the edges of your nails at all? I filed mine square. Yeah, sometimes I'll just run the file like one time. You can see that they're not like super sharp at the ends. Sometimes I'll just run the nail file over at once and then that's good enough. Sometimes if I want a really, really small line, I'll take a nail art brush. This is another one that I got custom engraved. <laughs> so cool. I do this when it's clean, I promise, but I just lick it to make the point. <laughs> I shouldn't be showing you guys this. <laughs> Don't do what I do. This is a uh, so, but this makes like the smallest little dots. Okay. Sorry, now I'm like, I'm zoning in on, on making my little nebulas. I love it so much, I just made <laughs> the mailman laugh with my celebration. Oh my gosh, did you get the polishes? Or are you celebrating with your mailman that I like my nail art brushes? <laughs> Or are you talking about your combo of Lottie and, I don't remember, Regina? <laughs> Tell you, my boyfriend does the same thing with brushes, but he paints Warhammer minis. Yeah, I feel like I always do it with any kind of brush, uh, and I, I really shouldn't. I mean, obviously not like a hairbrush, but like if I'm painting something, I'll be like... <laughs> uh, don't do it with nail polish on it, by the way. That is not safe. I'm gonna do like a few little like random dots like out outside in the in the black part just so that it looks like they're like super far away stars. Oops. Okay, this one I just want one little boop there. <gasps> See? Look at how alive that is. That's so fun. Will Galaxy Gang be restocked? Yes. Yes it will. I don't know when, but it will. Do you crunch your toes and you concentrate, or is it just me? I don't do that, but I do stick my tongue out, apparently. I've been told that by you guys. <laughs> no, I just got my celebratory. Oh, you got me excited. I thought you were talking about these polishes. <laughs> but celebratory is really good. I literally just started my nail polish collecting when the pandemic started. Yeah, I feel like it was actually really interesting because a lot of us have kind of discovered new hobbies that I don't think we would have otherwise noticed. Um, and that's just really fun to kind of get to experience something different. Um, I know a lot of you guys actually found me from, you know, being at home and not, not having anything to do or if you just we're feeling like, man, I really can't get my nails done. Excuse me, and you found me. Have you tried out DeBell's? No, I, I've never heard of it. Um, it's hard, it's harder to, to hear about international nail polish brands because obviously they're, they're not really marketing to the U.S., so, um, most of the mainstream brands that I, I use are from the U.S. So we're just popping on some spots. I feel like this is probably boring to watch, so I'm sorry. But I'm just, I'm just here popping on, popping on some little stars. Oh, I don't know why I looked at that. I knew there was nail polish on it. <sighs> that was terrible. Don't do that, guys. I actually like, <laughs> um, I don't know why I did that. That was so stupid. That was dumb. Okay. I love that you did the nail swatches for Bailey Searing's nail polish collab. As soon as I saw your nail, I was like, hey, that's Kelly Mercer. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Uh, that was really cool. Those polishes were gorgeous. I loved that new collab, but I loved the original collab, too. That really barb shade was stunning. Um, okay. I'm just making my smaller dots.
Okay. I really need some music in here. I got your plate from Maniology. It should be here any day now. Oh, yay! Oh, I'm excited for you to try it. I love that plate. Obviously. I mean... <laughs> uh, but it's, it's a fun one. I love all of my collabs. I'm so happy to be able to do them. I was watching one of your older videos and it was the one where you had a feather fall on your head. I was crying out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like forgot that that happened in a video and I have no idea where that feather even came from. <laughs> I know I have a pillow that has um, feathers in it. <laughs> Kelly collab with Christine and Brad Mondo. Um, I I've never done a collab on my channel, um, but a lot of people, <laughs> you guys always ask me to collab with like huge celebrities, uh, and I, I think you really overestimate the following and impact that I have. Um, usually like people with millions of followers will only collab with other people who have millions of followers. So that's, that's not really in the cards for me right now. <laughs> Um, but I'm not, I, I'm not really a collab person anyway, I've never done one before, uh, so it's kind of just, you know, just chillin'. This one's got a lot of stars. <laughs> what color would you dye your hair next? I don't know, should I tell you guys? I feel like I shouldn't, <laughs> because I want to surprise you. Oop. There you go. Okay. Adding your stars, I love how they just bring out the design. Yeah, I feel like it's such a fun little addition. Look at how messy this finger is. <laughs> it's. I usually just do one hand at a time and then I have to clean up like the finger that I'm most using for my nail art. Okay, here's the little star, here's the little star, here's the little star. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we should add, honestly, just a tiny bit of intergalactic, just for fun. I don't understand why you don't have more followers. I think you're the best watcher. Well, thank you so much. I think it's just, uh, I mean, I don't know if there are millions of people in the world who like nail polish. <laughs> Hard to say. Um, oh, why did I throw out that paper? I'm taking it back. Oops. Okay. I think I'm just going to sponge on just a touch of intergalactic, just for fun. Um, LA Colors. LA Colors is a good one. I like them. I think that too. How do you not have a craft on followers? Well, thank you guys. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would love to have more. That would be cool. <laughs> but I'm grateful to have you guys. I think that's pretty awesome in itself. Okay. So now I'm just literally just a tiny little like scattering so that once I put on the top coat it just looks like there's like more more stars scattered on there. You know what I mean? Like it makes it makes like the spots look less like spots and more like a a scattering of stars. I need the baby mason jar. Yeah, it's actually a shot glass, but I've never never used it for that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they sell them in like the grocery store. Oh, someone asked for drugstore brands. Uh, Simple Colors, LA Colors, um, those are kind of the ones that I use most often. Um, do you like Color Club polishes? I haven't used them in years. Uh, I don't really remember, honestly. When I used to use Color Club, I wasn't as knowledgeable about nail polish as I am now, so I feel like I would have to try them again in order to determine if I like them, but I'm sure they're good. I mean, a lot of people use them. That's pretty cool. Should I do like a little... Okay. I love painting galaxy on canvas. I would love to learn how to do that. Let's top coat this and see what it looks like. I'm going to use Starly Antimatter. Oh, I do love their hollows. The Color Club hollows are very good and it's a very good price point. Especially for the amount of hollow you get, they're very holographic and they're not that expensive. 
So it's, it's pretty nice. You don't have to pay like indie brand prices for hollow polish. Um, trying to glaze has some good ones as well, but I don't know if they're available. Oh, this manicure is cute. Ugh, this is going to be hard to take off. Not, not because it's a difficult removal process, just because I think it's really pretty. Oh, I really would want to take a picture of this, but I use my phone to take my pictures, and that's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> Will you ever grow longer nails? Um, no, I, I, I personally just prefer to keep them short. Okay, here it is. Oh, I think this is so pretty. Do you use full fake lashes? No, these are full ones. <laughs> that wasn't very attractive. I'll show you which ones I use. The Salon Perfect Pre-Permed Push-Up Medium Curl Lashes. I get them from Walmart. Uh, so here is my little spacey design. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's going to kill me to take this off and not take a picture of it. <laughs> Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, and look at that. Let me let me put on the flash so you guys can see, like the the sparkle. Do you like look at this nail? You see that? <sighs> oh, this is pretty. This, this is good. This is good stuff. Ooh, ooh, this is pretty. I feel like I should just. Can I take a screenshot? like this. I feel like that I couldn't post that on Instagram though. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Did that work? Nope, didn't work. Oh, oh this is so pretty. Oh, I really want to show Ryan. I feel like he would be impressed. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I love the live stream so we can actually see how much time and effort it takes to do it. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the fun parts. I should do more nail art videos in here, especially now that I have a split screen so you can see my face and my nails so you can see what I'm doing when I like pull my hand away. End this and take a picture. Honestly, I might. <laughs> but we can hang out for a little bit. Oh, thanks for hanging out. I hope you uh, go to sleep if it's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> Don't take that off ever, please. Oh my gosh, I really love it. I love this whole... Like, there's like a purpley undertone to it, but it's still- oh, this is pretty. I should have added a little bit of infrared. I think that would have made it even better. Oh, but I love it. Oh, this is so fun. I think you should show him. We will wait until you get back. Do you guys- <laughs> would that be weird if I go show him really quick? Steal Ryan's phone. Actually, not a bad idea. I should put some quick dry drops on this. I feel like, you know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be chatting and I'm gonna be like, Phew, and I'm just gonna- Get nail polish everywhere. Are you gonna do your other hand too? I actually, I'm a doofus and I need to swatch the polishes that I'm showing you guys tomorrow. <laughs> so I am gonna have to take this off, but I would love to have a picture of it at least so that I could mm, post it on my community tab and on Instagram. Use your be right back feature. Okay, guys, please don't leave me. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> we'll be right back.
I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> what did I miss? Did anybody say anything crazy? <laughs> okay, I also went to the bathroom because I was already up, so I was like, whatever, it's fine. Um, but it survived, it survived the bathroom. Uh, so Ryan said three things. Thing number one, he said, whoa, that's sweet. Thing number two, he said, ooh, it's glistening. And thing number three is, it smells like nail polish. So, um, <laughs> I think he was, he was right on the money with those. I tried peeling it. Oh, Starly's stocking issues. Yeah, hopefully everything, I mean, I think everybody's kind of just reeling still from the pandemic and just, uh, how hard it's been for everything. You know, oh, I don't want to take this off. We can do some experiments on paper <laughs> because I still want to kind of play with stuff. <laughs> Ryan is the best. I agree. He really is the best. I love him. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Should we test the top? I feel like the experimenting is really just the toppers. <laughs> And thing number four, he'll be ready to hang out with us. No, he did actually, <laughs> some of my Patreon supporters were having a Zoom call and I jumped in and he came over and said hi too. Which I thought was pretty wild. So, um, only you guys have seen him really. <laughs> Use your other hand. This other hand is wrecked and I feel like, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to try to clean it up and I'm going to mess up this manicure. He took a picture with his phone, right? No, I did not. <laughs> I really should have, but I didn't. I feel like that would take me like five minutes. My boyfriend doesn't want me to paint my nails because of the smell. Oh, you should not be okay with that. <laughs> um, I feel like we can try different weird combos on paper. I'm so sorry, I missed that. Never keep a polish on for longer than three days ever. I get bored and it will bug me to death until I change it. Yeah, I'm the same way, honestly. We're gonna just, we're gonna try some weird colors. What colors do you wanna see Phobos and Deimos over? Oh, that one's got a little fuzz in it. It's fine. Boop, 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 boop. We're just gonna push it away. There it is. <sighs> get a new boyfriend. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but uh, I I personally don't love having a, a boyfriend who would not let me have my own hobbies just because of a minor inconvenience to him. So I I accepted that for way too long in my life, and I'm never doing that again. But luckily, Ryan very supportive. Maybe we'll do. Of this. The idea was for you to swatch tomorrow during our after party. Our after party is today. The after party is after this. For those of you guys who are Galaxy Commanders, I totally forgot about that. Wow. We're gonna do an after party though. It's gonna be fun. I hope he always admires my nails, but I can't get him to let me paint his yet. <laughs> Uh, I want to see Terra and the blurple one that looks like Diamond Rain. Oh, yeah. I'll show you guys a comparison of the two. Because I know Diamond Rain and Alternate Universe are kind of similar. But here they are next to each other. Let me move this over. Here they are next to each other. Oof, they look very similar on camera. <laughs> uh, I'll show you guys the difference. Hold on. We'll put it on paper. Hi. Well, you did ask us to remind you. Yeah, and now, now I'm I'm reminded. <laughs> totally forgot. I meant swatch during our after party. What are you talking about? Oh, the after party today. I'll swatch stuff, but you gotta let me take a picture of this in between. <laughs> okay, so this is alternate universe. The most beautiful purple in the world. Uh, do you Paulo Tacos got cake? Yes, I do. Okay, and then here, wow, they look, I, I gotta tell you, they look so much more similar on camera. 
I think they really look more different. Okay, let me see if I, with a flash on, you can see, uh, so this one, this one is Diamond Rain, this one is Alternate Universe, very similar shades, uh, just one of them is purple. That's really the only difference. Okay. I just wanted to try these weird colors with Phobos and Demos. I'm yelling at my laptop. Alyssa, you're not making sense! <laughs> Explain to me. This is Phobos. Whoa! <laughs> it looks so green, but from my angle, it looks pink. That's That was wild. Wild experience just there. Okay. Okay, now I'm realizing, I don't know why I'm doing this, because obviously they look the same. <laughs> because they're not, uh, they're not iridescent, so it's gonna be the same over every color. <laughs> obviously. Uh, okay, this is fine. Guys, this is fine. <laughs> I ordered both. I think both of them are worth it. That's my very biased opinion. <laughs> Do your nails when your boyfriend's not around. I don't think, I mean, I don't think my boyfriend notices or cares, but, um, yeah, I know some guys are, are pretty averse to the smell. I know my brother doesn't like the smell of it. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this does not look pretty on camera, but in real life this is so stunning. <laughs> That's embarrassing. It's fine. Look at that. Oh, I actually really like this combo of Phobos with the yellow. Oh, I'm scratching off my makeup. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Lissa, that didn't make any sense at all. I'm sorry. The way you were saying it, you were like, you can do your swatches tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, I can't wait to get my polishes from you, Kelly. Oh, I'm so excited for you to get them. Phobos over purple. Oh, I know. Phobos over purple is an actual dream. It's so beautiful. I don't know why it's looking so green on camera. It must be like the angle because when I'm looking at it right here, it looks so pink. It looks like, like I'm trying to, that's not what it looks like. It looks so pink. Like I'm looking at it and I'm like, whoa, pink. I wonder if it would look different. I'm gonna drop this on my laptop. Look at how much pinkier it looks. You see that? That's just, it's just wild. <laughs> Tara, what should we do with Tara? Uh, she's such a beauty, isn't she? I just pop her onto this piece of paper. I really just spend my time painting nail polishes on paper. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Look at that. Ugh. It's so pretty. Oh. Look at that. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Just look at that. Lighting is annoying but magic. I agree. Oh. Look at that sparkle. If that's not the perfect green, then it's fractal. <laughs> uh, I love her so much. Me too. Oh, she is really a beauty, I'll tell you. These are actually, it's so different seeing them next to each other. It's kind of funny because, like, I would consider them both to be greens, but in such different ways. Oh, yeah, literally. This is, so this is fractal, and you can see she's got some, uh, some peaky vibes in there too. I just thought it looked so like mossy and funky. Ugh. I actually really like this combo. It's like different. I'm late to the live. What polishes are these? Oh, we're just kind of playing around. I just did some galaxy nails using my collabs. Uh, mostly just the new stuff. Well, actually, not even mostly. I used two polishes from an older collab. And then I just used two polishes from the new collab. So yeah, we're just kind of playing around with my Starly polishes and just showing them off. Here they are without the light on. Uh, just kind of 
doing it on paper because I want to take a picture of this manicure. <laughs> and I'm being selfish. Excuse me. Fractal's being held up right now in the whole Cleveland USPS issue. Yeah, I, I promise you she'll be worth the wait. Look at how pretty she is. Ugh. I love, like, the depth. Oops, that's fine. The depth of just the flake in there. And this is just one coat. So, like, imagine. Ugh, so pretty. So pretty. Um, the perfect green. I agree. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys to try them. I think these colors look so pretty next to each other. Ugh. I kind of want to plan out some nail art. This is literally how I plan out my nail art, though. Like, I'll, I'll draw it on paper like this, and then I'll just put the paper over here, and I'll, like, look at it for reference. Kelly Marissa, new merch. Just a sweater shirt that says it's fine. <laughs> if I had merch, it would definitely just say, it's fine. It's fine. Or I'm a fool. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll just get shirts that say it's fine and I'm such a fool. <laughs> Have you been growing your nails out? No, I, I try to file them to keep them at the same length. I don't want them to get too long. Ugh, this is so pretty. You rock. You are the best. No, Karen, you rock and you are the best. <laughs> oh, I guess... We should probably... What is your favorite from Hollow Taco? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, probably the the Scattered Hollow. Pretty good one. New Starly collab mix. Call it, it's fine. You know what's funny? I actually still have... I don't know if you guys remember the last polish mixing video I did. I mixed together all of my Starly collabs before these ones came out. And I still have the bottle because I thought it was just so gorgeous. So this is like my first nine polishes mixed together. Um, let me put on the light so you can see it. So you can see all of its beautiful sparkling glory. Watching your videos is making me super broke because you make the polishes look beautiful. <laughs> well, you can tell your wallet that I'm sorry, but you can tell your nails that I said you're welcome. <laughs> no. Yeah, so this was all my first nine polishes mixed together. I do, I'm going to do either at the end of the month after Christmas or in January, I'm going to do another mixing video and I'll mix together all the new ones so you guys can see. It'll be fun. Can you show us infrared and Terra next to each other? I sure can. This one's Terra. I'll just keep it right here and I'll just pop it on next to it. Oh. Oh my gosh. I... Oh. They're so much prettier in person, it actually makes me angry. Like, I wish... Oh, I wish you guys could just be in the room with me. Like, uh... Ooh, it's so pretty. Uh, oh my gosh. I really love this color. Uh, I love them all, honestly. But I've been in such a red mood lately, which is kind of crazy for me, because I feel like I don't really wear red. I, I like to have red hair, but I guess that's what's kind of motivating my red mood. But it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I'm just gonna save this piece of paper and put it on my wall. <laughs> uh, it's like a fractal again. Um, so, can you show a celebrity tree next to or under Tara? Yeah. Where is celebrity tree? There it is. Celebrity tree. The most tree like polish of all time. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold this. We'll start. We'll start anew. I have to wait on this collection on the planets because I spent an embarrassing amount of money on Black Friday. <laughs> I understand. Well, hopefully they'll both be back by January. 
So this is Celebratory. And this, this is Terra. Oh my gosh, wait, why is this combo so beautiful? And why haven't I used them together? Oh my gosh, guys, why are these colors so gorgeous together? Do you see this? Do we see this? <gasps> Look at that sparkle. Can you do Christmas nails? I did. I just uploaded a compilation yesterday of seven holiday nail art designs. Um, so we've got some Christmas designs, we've got some Hanukkah designs, and both of them are pretty much that you can choose whichever holiday suits you because they're just like, like snowflakes, but like with red and white, and you can change it to blue and white or, you know, whatever color even works for you. Ah! Oh! Oh, this is so beautiful. Are you gonna try lights lacquer? Um, I might. I'm not sure. I I haven't I haven't seen a, a collection that I want to buy yet. But you know, if if one of them strikes my fancy, wait, can we? Let me just do a quick little combo here. The candle nails. Oh my god! Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. Look at this. Ah. Uh, why are purple and green the most beautiful colors together of all time? Look at this combo. Uh, this is alternate universe, China Glaze, Celebratory, and then Terra. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. <laughs> I feel like um, we should shift into chatting mode and maybe, do you guys want to do a Q&A or should we just call it, call it quits for today? Hold vibes. <laughs> I see it. I can see it. Joker vibes. I feel like this is like every bad guy in like everything <laughs> vibes. Uh, this is like some, I'm getting Danny Phantom vibes here. So sad it's sold out. Will more be coming? Yes, they are working on restocking them. They just have to make more. Do you have any TV show recommendations? Because I need a new show for quarantine. Um, we've been watching uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know how old you are, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it if you're under 18. Which top coat do you use most? Oof, I don't know. I use a lot of them. Um, on my desk currently, I have Sesh Vive, I have Cuccio High Gloss, and I have Surf Colors. So, those are probably the three that I'm using the most right now. You make me laugh with your sounds. <laughs> I do make a lot of sounds. How would you use those three together? I have no idea. Probably just some, like, striping tape, and maybe just do, like, like, triangles, you know? Like, like... So here's the nail. Right? That's my short nail. And then I go like this. So then this would be purple, this would be green, and this would be green, or something like that, you know? I think that would be fun. Or, if you did something, here's my other nail. <laughs> this is a really good drawing. Uh, then I would just maybe do like lines like that it would be cool, even. I don't know. You can kind of just play around. This is, if you want to get more into nail art, I think this is a very fun way to do it. I kind of just always either draw my ideas with pencil like this, or I'll just play around with the actual physical polish, and then, you know, it's whatever. Can you explain different base coat usages, long-lasting, peely, smoothing, etc.? Um, yeah, sure, I can do a video on that if that interests you. I'm so bad at coming up with nail art ideas. I keep a folder of inspiration on my phone um, where I just, like, if I see a pattern in life that I like, I'll consider doing that. Alright, well, I guess I should probably just go take my picture, but those of you guys who are uh, Galaxy Commanders on Patreon, um, you guys are gonna get a little after party so I'm gonna post on patreon I'm gonna take like 10 minutes just because I want to take pictures of this and then um, 
I will post on Patreon our little secret private link and then we can chat afterwards. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. <laughs> so, you know, I'll talk to you guys later. And, uh, well, you know, hold on, I'll put, I'll put me back to full screen so we can, boom, <laughs> so we can say goodbye properly. Uh, oh my gosh, there's so many nail polishes just sitting right here. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I'm so glad you guys had fun. Thank you, and, um... I'll see you guys tomorrow because we're gonna do we're gonna do a video tomorrow and it'll be fun times. <laughs> Bye guys. I don't know how to turn this off. Ooh.